Another question we get is why passivate after electro polishing? Electro polishing is considered a passivation process, but again, like we saw in the different passivation techniques, um, electro polishing only gets us as good of a passivation as using phosphoric acid. So typically, we see chromed iron ratios in the range of 1.2 to maybe as high as 1.4. But still, under the passivation requirement of nitric acid at 1.5, and certainly not as high as passivating with citric acid after electropolishing, which can get us from the range of 1.8 to even as high as 2.0. So it, again, it's very important to passivate the surface after electropolishing in order to improve the passive film. Yeah, electropolishing does give us a passive film, but it's at the lowest level acceptable. So we would much rather have a fully passivated, highly corrosion resistant surface after we have electropolished. And we do that by passivating with such things as citric acid.